Hello everybody, it's me, Billy of Speed Force Productions, and welcome to another Sonic the Hedgehog fan game video. Today I am playing a game that has been long overdue for me to ever try out, Sonic Robo Blast 2. Now I've never played Sonic Robo Blast 1, because no one ever talks about it, so I don't know what it's like. So everyone always talks about this one, and I've seen it a bunch of times, I've seen a bunch of people play it. I've always wanted to try this for myself, so without any further ado, why don't we give it a try? So let's go to the tutorial since I'm new to this. Welcome to the SRB2 tutorial. To access the menu, hit the escape key or to continue press the spacebar. Eh? I'm playing with a... Okay, I guess I gotta do arrow keys. Or whatever. Can I? Do I? Do I have to? No, don't tell me it's D-pad controls. I swear it's not. Come on. Okay, it is controller. We're fine. Okay, let's try something like a tails combined. Okay, for some reason the joystick I can move. But for some reason there's no button here that's letting me jump. Unless my PS4 controller is actually messed up. Well, in that case, we're going to be using the keyboard and mouse for this. Wait, can I not home in on enemies? Shouldn't there be like a targeting system? Hmm. I don't know. So I'm finally playing Sonic Robo Blast 2. It's been a long time since I first discovered this game. And I'm I'm actually amazed by like how much has been done with this game. Like there's so much stuff created for this. It's crazy to think that a game like this is still going. Like being updated and all the other cool stuff that's been added to it. You don't really see that in a lot of games. And isn't this... this game is like really old. Oh jeez, the controllers are... I'm bad, I'm bad at this. I'm gonna wait for an air bubble. Thank you. I really like the presentation here. Like it's all 3D but you got sprites for the characters. It's really nice. And that was my first time beating a stage in this game. It's definitely a 3D environment classic Sonic feel, which you don't really find that kind of stuff in other media or just working with like Sega. In a way, this is this is kind of like if uh if uh, Sonic and Mario was combined, like classic Sonic wise and Mario 64, but not Mario 64, if you get what I mean. It might have been a bad comparison, but roll with it. Now, I'm not gonna play the full fan game in this demo. Not this demo, this video. I just wanted to, like, try this game out, because I've seen so much on it. And. I've wanted to try it for so long that I just never got around to it. I kind of, I kind of wish because the air dash is near. I wish there was a targeting thing for the homing attack. I don't get why there isn't. I'll be honest. I am getting the spring. I'm not doing anything to mess it up, so I don't get how that messed up. See, see, I'm not even doing anything. I wasn't even really touching my keys. Let me try that again. Oh, that was bad. See, come on! See, this is this is an issue right here, and I'm surprised no I'm surprised no one else actually has this problem. How how do I get up there? 
Am I supposed to air dash into it? I don't know. <laughs> it's not telling me. There's probably gonna be like loads of comments saying like how I'm supposed to do it. Or if I followed the tutorial. Which I tried, but it got boring. Cause like, I already got the gist of how to play. Like... <laughs> like so quickly, so I didn't see the point of doing it again. See, this is too slippery for me. Oh, there we go. That was the one way of doing it. I don't know if anyone else does it that way, or if it's the right way to do it, but it's what I did, so, so be it. I think I found some kind of like token, I don't know what it does. What a... Okay, we are in a Nights into Dreams-esque Blue Spear stage. That's interesting, I've never seen this before actually. It kind of makes sense given that this was a game done by people who worked on a on a Sonic team made Knights in the Dreams. I'm being quite awkward at the moment, but like it's not my intention. This is so interesting. Like, I am surprised I haven't seen anyone else, like, showing this. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Nice. I'm sorry I'm not talking very much, it's just... Wow, this is... This is really good. Like, I can't believe I actually haven't played this in, like, ever. Like, what made me not want to play this? Look how many links I have, that's crazy. Ah, I missed it. I messed it up. Oh well. Okay, is there any more? There we go. That was close. Okay, so the way you get Chaos Emeralds is a uh, Nights into Dreams esque level. That was. That's actually a pretty good special stage. So, a pretty good way to do it. Nights mode unlocked. Very cool. Alright, let's try a boss. Oh, huh, that was. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab me some rings. I forget I need to use the mouse in order to look around. I'm just taking this guy out so quickly. Is this even a challenge? How many hits does he have? Oh god, nope. I don't have any rings. I am screwed. Okay, I can get the hang of this. Just gotta be a bit careful. Thank you, Tails. Oh, nope. Get the other rings, get the other rings! Okay, now it's just getting a little challenging. I think it does that. Oh god, no, 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 no! Get the rings, get the rings! Nope, no, 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 no! I need to keep the rings. Okay, there we go. See you later, Eggman. Alright, let's take this capsule. And there we go. Uh, okay, so we go another level. So we just go straight to the next level. Alright, uh, let's 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 play one more stage. So we'll play this song, get to the boss, and then that'll be it for the video. Cause I, I just wanted to try this. This this is all that this was really for. So far I can say that this is a pretty well made game. What's this? Ooh, a new shield? I wonder what this does. Oh! Okay. This is interesting. So it, it, it prevents me from being in this water. I really like this music. This music's nice. Whoa, where am I going? Am I going in a loop or something? I can't tell. I think where I, I went to where I needed to go. I'm 
practically new to all these stages, so I'm not gonna be the best Sonic Roboblast player, I'll tell you that now. God, I feel like anyone that's actually played this game is just questioning my... my skills. They'll be like, oh, why are you doing this? You suck at this game. And I'm like, I'm new, this happens. What is this? It's a shield, obviously, but like, what, is, what does it do? Can I do something with it? This is... Like, I, I've played Sonic games for years, I should be good at this kind of thing, and like, seeing a bunch of videos on this game should have also helped, but... I guess not. I don't know. I also don't get why it, it took me like... I don't know how many years if this game has been out for me to even play it. I should have played this back when I was younger. If someone knows like when this when this game came out, let me know so I could s say like how long it would have been for me to Okay, I don't know. Oh wait, do I go down here? I got confused. Whoa! Oh, that's the end of the stage. I think it, I think this is mainly just getting use of the controls. I think that's what this is for me. Oh, that was unfortunate. I I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I think. I could definitely say the best thing about this game is the music. This this music is really dang good. We're getting kind of uh, Sonic OVA kind of vibes with the music here. And I gotta give it to them. I do I do like the soundtrack to the OVA. How do I how do I get down it? Or do I come up from there? I don't know. What do I do? Oh, come on! I I I am not in I am so confused. What what am I supposed to do here? Do I do I go down there? Did I make a wrong turn? Where do I go? Am I supposed to use this down there? Let me try it. Okay, I guess I did something. Okay, so I was supposed to do that. How was I supposed to know? I'm not like a genius. Ah! And again, if there was a targeting system for the air dash to do the homing attack, I think this would be more like precise. This is why the homing attack was made in the first place. It wasn't made just so Sonic had like a new move. It was because the def like Sonic team knew that Sonic would struggle hitting enemies in 3D if he was just to do it regularly, like in the 16-bit games. Maybe, maybe there is a targeting thing for the homing attack. I guess I just don't know it. I I really couldn't tell you. Okay. Ah oh, no, the spring again! What is with the speed? The speed is like way too much. It, it feels way too slippery to be the speed of a Sonic game. Like, look, look! How was I? How am I supposed to get that spring? How? Is there actually a way to stay under that water? Cause I thought it was that shield that was keeping me from being up it, but. No, that's just the, the the stage itself. That's kind of weird to me. Not gonna lie. I I think a game like this can really work for Sonic, and of course it has, because people really like this. But for me, I think if there was actually a guide, maybe this could be something worth wild cuz I am not getting this oh so there is a homing attack I had to press shift I think 
I... I don't get this. What, what, do, what do I not understand about this? Where am I supposed to go? Was it supposed to be this way? I, I don't get this. Oh, is I supposed to go down here? Come on! I don't know where I'm supposed to go! Where do I go? Am I supposed to go up this way? How do I get up there? That was not it. Something tells me I soft locked myself. I don't even know if this even goes up to 10 minutes. Ugh, this is a nightmare. And this is only Act 2. And this is the second zone. So where do I go from here? See, it wasn't that. So what do I... What do I do? I don't get this! I have no idea what that just did. Oh. So I pushed the switch. Yeah. I, I, I wish it just told me these things. I know I've said I've seen other people play this game, but it's mainly like the other fan-made stuff for it, not the actual stages that are actually in this officially. Made by the actual people who that made this. Okay. Finish Act 2. In 11 minutes, oh my god. Okay, so now we have got an Eggman boss now. So it's just avoiding his blue paint boss, I guess. That's my assumption of this boss fight. And it seems like it'll get quicker as I go. Just waiting for the right moment. Almost have him. Almost have him. He's almost down. Okay, if I die, it, and I called it. This is a, definitely a first impressions kind of video. <laughs> I mean, that's what it was intended to be. But I didn't expect it to go kind of like this. I can't see. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get him. And again, targeting system. If if it gave me one. Maybe I'd be good at this. There we go. Okay, let's get the capsule and then we can close things off for this video. <laughs> so I go through Act 3. Okay, so that was my first impressions of Sonic Robo Blast 2. It went a bit differently than I expected. I think I think it's an alright game. Like, maybe if I played it more, I could get better at it. But, um, overall, I could see the love and attention to it. I feel like a couple of things should probably be changed or improved. Or maybe I just didn't know about a certain improvement. But overall, Sonic Roboblast 2, for my first impressions, it's, it's a pretty decent game. Would I play it again? Maybe. Would I do it for another video? Probably not. Should you play it? That's up to you. I will leave a link in the description so if you want to download this for yourself. And yeah, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below what you think of Sonic Robo Blast 2. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Support me on Patreon. Follow me on all my social media links, which will all be linked in the description below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.